Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Now this time I've got a special thing for you. I don't think you can really use it, but I just made it. It's funny and it's, well, have a look at it. So we've got this floating item frame. It's actually it's on a barrier block, but no one cares. So we've got this item frame and we can rotate this item and we set the time when you rotate the item. So now it's about noon and there we go sunset the moon rises then we go to midnight we go back there we go and we got this beautiful scene where the sun is rising again and there we go this is the time zero before i explain any of this i've got to tell you one thing one minecraft day is 20 minutes in the real time one uh, 20 minutes in real time are exactly 24,000 ticks 24,000 ticks divided by 8 for 8 possible rotations of the item in the item frame are equals to 3,000. Which means that we have to set the time 3,000 from uh, 3,000, you know, things away from the other command blocks. So let me just show you. So if you have a look at here, we have, have time set 0. If you have a look here, we have time set 12,000. This is because of the item rotation, but we've got 0. Some we should have 3,000. Yeah, here we have 3,000. Then I think over here is 6,000. Uh, 6, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know the exact location of each command block, but I know one thing. We've got a very, very fast clock right here. We fill one specific area with redstone blocks and air at the same time, which means that, we've get a, a, that we get a 20 times a second update. That means that... This row of redstone blocks is updated every twen uh, 20 times every second, which is very, very fast. So now we're going to take a look at the actual command block stuff. So if, we'll, if we have a look in here, we can see that we are testing for an entity. Everyone knows that an item frame is actually a block, you know. So we could do test for block. But it is so that an item frame that is somewhere in, in the world is an actual entity. So we're testing for an entity which with the type item frame. The tile X coordinate, the tile Y and the tile C coordinate of the item frame are given. So we're testing for exactly this specific item frame over here, okay? So we're testing for this item frame and we can see that the entity frame name did not match the required, uh, required data string structure. That is because we've got a specific item rotation. So the item rotation is in what rotation the item is. Everyone could have guessed that, but the item rotations in an item frame are like this. This is rotation 0, this is rotation 1, 2, rotation 3, rotation 4, this is rotation 5, there you go to 6, this is 7, and this is 8. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, the reason why 8 and 1 are exactly the same position is because we start counting by 0. This is exactly how it is made when we work with command blocks. I don't know if you get that, but again, this is how it works. So we're testing for the item rotation, and I personally don't know why we need a B. I only know that A is not working, and no nothing else is working. We can test this out right here. So we can say 0. B, 0, C is not working, 0 is not working, I only know that 0, B is working. I don't know why that is, but it works, so I've got to use that. Maybe it is because of the location of the item frame, but yeah, you, you would have to test that out. Maybe you can write me in the comments why you would need that, so yeah. So again, there we go. This is a small explanation, or actually a summary. So we've got a very, very fast clock right here that fills a specific area of redstone blocks 20 times a second. We are testing for a specific item in an item frame that has the rotation amount that we gave it. For example, right here we have 5b. And there we go. This is the time set comment. That is pretty much how it works, so yeah. Yeah, so this is the end of this tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed watching it. I really enjoyed making it. If you have any suggestions what I should do next, please write them in the comments. And I hope that we'll see us in the next video.